It's 1106. Just moving all my stuff into my truck. I could have pulled it up to my car, but I figured like walking. center
empty at TD. twice already it's been my I've only been driving solo for a week now or I've only ha had my truck for a week I when I first got it I got stuck on the fuel island because the def gauge was broken so it was showing empty and the truck wasn't letting me put it in a drive and that's what I thought it was but it turned out it was actually um, transmission had a low air pressure so it wasn't allowing me to go in the drive but um ended up being able to air it up um, I got the dev fixed but I didn't get the transmission fixed we didn't know at the time that it was a low transmission air pressure we just thought it was the dev but um I ended up getting the def gauge, like, def gauge, my def gauge in my truck doesn't work, but I have to fill def up every time, like, the def thing still works. I, I'm not a big believer in the def um, system, I, I think it's, it's pretty stupid to be honest, it doesn't really make any sense, but, um, that's for another discussion. But anyways, I, I ended up getting back from my trip and my tablet and my def weren't working. I mean, not my def, my tablet wasn't working and my low transmission air pressure um, warning signal just kept flashing at me. So I ended up put it, bringing it back into the shop and I was thinking I might have to be in a loaner today, but luckily the shop was able to get everything done and taken care of. Um, both times they've been able to do it within a day or two fix my stuff. It's been great. But this truck, besides that, this truck's actually, like, it's a nice truck. I'm happy I got it. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, it's a 2021 International. I love the interior. I need to, I need to get it washed. I haven't, I could have got it washed. Um, this morning, but I wanted to get out on the road and get started with my day. And I, I'll probably just get it washed on Sunday when I get back. It's Wednesday today. I mean, I always come the other way. 
to the Dollar Tree. Kind of cool going this way. All right, I should say always, but I, I did this route with my mentor for a bit. So I was able to, I've done this, I've probably taken six or seven loads from the Dollar Tree account now. Two on my own and then probably four or five with my mentor. I love the Cummins. I love when it whistles or purrs, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, and we're arriving at the Dollar Tree right now. Dollar Tree Distribution Center. I don't go to the stores. I just bring stuff to the distribution centers. My route's pretty, pretty sweet because I don't have to get live loaded or unloaded I just drop and hook I just switch trailers at each distribution center so I'll pick up an empty or or a loaded usually it's empty coming back and I get paid for those miles which is just crazy so this Swift must be making pretty good money on this account or maybe they make good money on the rest of their routes for Dollar Tree so they're willing to have me drive an empty trailer the whole way back from Washington to Stockton, California, but I mean sometimes I'll bring loaded stuff, but I'd say like I've only done that I've only brought something loaded once from there out of my six or seven times But my mentor told me cause he was doing this account for a bit that he brings stuff here and there
I like to make sure they're lined up, but like completely lined up, you don't have to. So, Reaper's got about seven eighths left. Okay, I'll put this down. are all good nothing loose or dragging that looks pretty good that looks good they really back this up let's see what's inside it this is what we got it's pretty light load I think it's like 7,084 pounds from what it says up there. Super light, super easy. Let's see here. That's packed. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good back here. Flap, whatever you want to call that thing, the wind flap, looks good. This is okay. This is kind of... Someone definitely scraped this against another trailer. Or another trailer hit this one, I'm not sure. Lights. Lights look good. Alrighty. Oh, I gotta... I almost missed that, guys. I need to slide the tandems. So I'll do that in a second. So I'm gonna get... Uh, some air in the trailer i'm just gonna drive it around for a bit usually when i pick up these loads the tandem's already at the legal limit or even um like at 36 not 36 like 38 feet probably cool thing about this load is you don't really have to worry about um you don't really have to worry about the tandems too much because the load's only 7,000 pounds. <laughs> so they can, tandems don't really need to like, you just need to get them within the legal limit. This button in and watch this. Of course, they didn't. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'll just drop this right here. foot mark right here you can see that so I've got to just bring it up a little so I'm gonna back it up here, I'll better angle
so I over corrected it a little. Doesn't matter because we're light. Don't need to use the full 40 feet. So I'm gonna push them in and these will come out hopefully. Now I've gotta just roll it and they'll, they'll fall in. We'll see. We'll hear the cut. So I actually got it right on the money. Uh, for some reason I was thinking after I pushed it back that they just fall around right the place, but I have to pull forward. See how these are out right here? There's another one over here. And on the other side, we'll check just to make sure. So this is the, I, I drove a central trailer here with the super big tires, singles, super singles. These have doubles. But, uh, see that one's out, that one's out, so we're good. So I just put my lock on the back of the trailer and went over um, the bill of lading to make sure I've got the right load that's matched up to where I'm going. Now I've got to do my Part, um, part stop on my sonar, and then I can take off. But uh, trailer number, yeah, I, I don't know why. I could see it if I look through my mirror. But as a trucker, you gotta be lazy sometimes, right? Fuel level seven, it's like between seven and eight. Let's put seven, send that in, and we're set to go. I like to put it up here. Um, there was graffiti everywhere, graffiti all over the courthouse. 